Okay. <clears throat> Wait, is my audio delay still in place? Yes. Okay, good. Great. Grand. No yelling on the bus. Now, can't quite remember what I was doing last time. Even though, technically, I only did this a few days ago. We'll just make a private session, so I don't have to worry about people. When I first started playing Monster Hunter, I decided that uh, for games like this, I was primarily going to play by myself, at least uh, in the early goings, until I got a grasp of like all the different mechanics in the game. Personally, I feel like that's helped me in the long run, because I'm not wholly reliant on other people to get me through stuff. Which isn't to say that I don't play with other people, it's just uh, as a learning experience and to help not be the dead weight of a hunting party, I prefer hunting alone to start. Oh, I'm going after Toby Kadachi! Do I have any weapons that would be good? Oh, well, I have a water sword. That would work. I'm currently a negative three against thunder. Damn. Should I just jump right into hunting it? Or... Wait, why did I hit join quest? Hold on. It looks like I've done all the optional stuff, so may as well move on. I really got to discover the other campsites. Oh, hey, CJ, how you doing? I don't know why I'm in such a hurry to get to the canteen. I know you could just eat at the camps now. Okay, no, never mind. I know why I'm hurrying here. This is why. Uh, I'm doing okay. It's a pretty slow day at work. So slow that I got home and immediately got on Monster Hunter. Usually I at least do something else before then, but... Let's see, what does my inventory look like? Can I make... Okay, I'm going to have one pitfall trap, and that will be the pitfall trap that matters. Oh, uh, okay, I do have no berries, good. Don't forget to stretch. I don't have time to stretch. I have a very strict schedule, and I cannot fit stretching into it. There was no reason for me to do that, I just wanted to. Okay. Got 
to make sure I get my research points in where I can. Oh, hold on. Just in case. Something very particular I'm hoping I can get to happen with, and uh, it involves these red pits. I'm not sure it's going to be in the right area for that, though. At least not initially. Oh yeah, this thing is well off of that beaten path. Yeah, I'm still not used to this character's face. Probably could have reached it, but I didn't. Ah, shit. I knew I was getting greedy, but I went for it anyway. Just stay there for a moment. Oh, shit! Okay, that did not go entirely as planned, but that looked awesome nonetheless. Ah, shit. Well, oh, this is going rather poorly. Yep, I'm dead. I knew that not having decent thunder resistance was going to bite me in the ass. And I probably can't eat again yet. No, I can't. Time for the walk of shame back up to where Toby Kadachi is.
Nice. That's a good spot. Because I think I know what area he's going to. Or not. Well, he apparently was in this area at one point, but he seems to have taken a detour. Flashbug range is quite generous in this game, not that I'm complaining. Here we go again. Oh, son of a bitch. You have the worst timing, Anjanas. Oh, here we go. Does that count as a choke slam? Ah, I thought he was still after me. Leaving that behind us, do not dwell on the past. Come here, love bug. Oh, I can make use of poison cups in this area. Okay, yeah, looks like he's poisoned. Damn it, love bug. Oh, you 
were so gung ho about fighting me before. What happened? What happened? Shit. Gotcha. Good, at least I got some material out of this. be honest I was having a little trouble seeing there I think that just the lighting in my room is affecting my view of the TV I'm gonna shut it off in a moment not use the shock trap against the electrical one. I got the special one. Yes, cat sausage. <sighs> now the question is, do I use this for new armor, or do I use it as a base to start going after a Toby Kadachi sword? Although, is that an offshoot of the Bone Sword? Because I may need to level that up too. Turn off the overhead lights, because that seemed to be shining right down on the TV. It does seem to be a little brighter now. Alright, so the farm is now open. Okay, yes. Uh, what should I start with? I actually don't have much in terms of variety of items. I need to fix that. Because otherwise I'm going to run out of things very, very quickly. And in retrospect, I shouldn't have used my only spider web for this. get bitter bugs. I know I need those for a couple of things. I 
All right, field team leader, what do you got to say for yourself? Top priority, you say. So, I shouldn't go on optional quests or random ass hunts, is what you're saying. Because that's what I'm tempted to do. Well, okay, maybe not random, so much as I need items. Lots of items. Let's see. Pretty sure I have to start making bone swords. Yep, it's an offshoot of the bone tree. Hmm. I could go after another Jiratotus. Because Anjanath is weak against water, so if I get my sword to the next level, that could help with that fight. Oh, I can make the Toby Kadachi sword. Well, in that case... Oh, wait, am I going to have money for this? Well, we'll see. I should have enough. Oh, hey, horseplay, how are you doing? Mind me just doing some weapon forging. I can afford it, good. You know, I am going to equip it because of what I'm going after. So I could do an expedition, and then, oh, wait, I see an exclamation point on the map. How am I doing? Well, I'm playing Monster Hunter World, so can't be that bad. Trying to remember which one prickly predicament is. Oh! That's a simple one. Actually, I could do that quest, and then if a Jirotodus pops up, I'll go after that too. Kill two birds with one stone. Besides, I should do optional quests on a fairly regular basis, otherwise I'm going to run into a situation where I'm both underpowered and under-armored. Oh, does this... I think this means I might get a new animation for when he cooks stuff. Not hunting with the rest of RCG. Uh, for this, I usually hunt alone. Okay, Escape Artist and Riser. Those are two good ones to have. Actually, hold on. 
Do I have any trap tools? I do. I'm going to take one with me, just in case I get enough materials together to be able to make something. I mean, if I can get, like, one Giratotus while I'm out here, good, but if I can get that in a Baryoth... No, Baroth, excuse me. They'd better put Baryoth in this game, or I'm gonna be pissed. Then again, if they did that, they'd have to make a Tundra area. And as far as I know, there aren't any hot drinks in the game yet. I'm also going to make a point to pick up some items, because otherwise... Uh, wait, there you go. Because otherwise I am going to run out of stuff, and based on what my inventory looked like before, I don't have much stuff to begin with. Hold off on the slinger torches. Oh, I've spotted a bottle. Yeah, it sounds like this. I wish I had a gem that uh, I have with one of my other characters. It's a gem that uh, increases the amount of stuff that you gather from places like these. Uh, we got a Kuluyaku on the loose. Think of it, I almost never come back here. Oh, that's why I never come back here. Because there's maybe one quest when I'd actually use this area. Well, on the plus side, light seeds. Kuyaku is on the map, but I can't say I'm all that interested in going after it. Oh, water moss, not going to be so useful for what I'm planning to go after. Damn it. Actually, I should get these guys while I'm at it. I don't know if I'm going to need these again later. Is he, is he out there? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Well, that just ruined my plan. Okay, we can make this work. See, a uh, bear off is on the map. I have a pretty good idea of where he goes.
Hey, there you are. So this weapon is less than ideal for bear off fights. If I were going specifically for bear off, I would have something like my water sword to get the armor off easier. Take your time there off. Should have seen that coming. He loves doing that attack when he's blinded. Come on, charge, charge, charge. Good boy. <sighs> Leaving so soon. Bearoth stomping around all over this place. I can only get cool Yaku prints. Okay, there's a Bearoth one. Oh. Might as well take advantage of this while I'm here. Oh, I just realized what I could do. problem with this is that I'd have to deal with that thing. But I should be okay, just as long as I don't get too close to it. Good job. Gotta get that tail off. And of course I miss it entirely.
There you go. I'm gonna do the smart thing and carve right in front of him. But he poisoned him. Okay, right side is broken. Left side is broken. I think that just leaves the claws, the ridge on the head, which isn't gonna happen. I was hoping I could get Diablos to pop out and knock him down the hole. Wasn't meant to be, I suppose. Or maybe that just happens in the actual quest for Baroth. Because after all, I forgot for a moment that this was a quest about collecting cacti. Okay, do I want to kill it? Do I want to capture it? You know what, let's see if I can break its ridge with my longsword. I doubt it. It's armor back.
gonna have to sharpen again soon, but hopefully not too soon. Okay, go after her, love bug. There you go. Oh, don't stand near me. Oh, oops. <laughs> that wasn't the plan. All right. This is a quest about collecting cacti. Oh, I still got a ridge out of it. Shoot these down with the red pits. Yes, quite easily. Well, never know when you'll need best void parts. Actually, if I remember correctly, the armor for this looks really fancy. Wait, seven. Which one is seven? Oh, he gave me a max potion. That's nice of him. Really? This would not have been my pick for where 43% of all hunters fainted. I would have gone for like area 8. Then again, I guess if you're a newer player and you're hunting a bear off there... Because at least for Try, Baroth was my first real sticking point in the game. You know what, I think... I might actually go after Kuliaku, if only to get something else to spawn. And if I get some mining done in the process, then all the better. Oh, maybe I'll get some decent investigations out of this. I mean, I can only hope. Kuriyaku leaves a lot of footprints. Hold on, I think I know where it's going. I'm going to try and circle back and cut it off. Yep, it's going out to the water. Hey, buddy.
Good timing, love bug. Oh shit. Yes, please pay no attention to the man behind the Kubuyaku. Wait, no, I made a female character. Fuck. Uh, running. I mean, I have Rathian's moves pretty down pat, what with fighting it for 10 years. <laughs> but still. At this point, it would do a decent amount of damage to me. So the margin of error just becomes that much thinner. Oh my god. You assholes went back to the same place. Actually, Rathian, if you wouldn't mind, could you murder the Kuliaku for me? Yep, Kuliaku's running like a bitch. Does that mean it stole an egg? I don't know. Hey, Rathian, I'll race you for it. Ah, just missed it. I really shouldn't be doing that move against this small of a target, but I can't resist. At least one of those would be materials. No such luck. it was that close to dying, but sure. Peg Bundy being a bitch? Well, I don't actually know yet, because I've been avoiding Peg. By the way, for anyone listening who has no idea what I'm talking about, uh, Tiger Richamaro and I tend to refer to Rathian and Rathalos as Peg and Al Bundy from Buried with Children. I'm not quite sure how that started. But it's a thing now. No. If I did go after Rathian now, I could feasibly start going after better armor earlier.
Wait, is Rathian in his nest? It is. I don't know if I've actually done any tracking of Rathian. Wait, how much time do I have? Okay, 24 minutes. That should be enough for the bobble. Talk joked about a couple cosplaying as Rathian and Rathalos. Oh shit, it woke up. Oh, it didn't see me. Well then. I can get my research bounty done here. Rathian's probably not going to stick around this area for very long. So I'm going to taunt it while I can. Oh, I thought that would cause me to drop the egg. Apparently not. That's it. Come to me, Rathian. You dumb dragon. Wyvern, sorry. doing fine screw you I'm going mining wait no this is a cactus quest damn it how many times have I just flat out forgotten what the quest is Oh shit. Uh huh. Oh god damn it. I'm going to stick to the perimeter of this area just in case. I mean, that's not to say I think Diablos is actually going to appear. I'm just saying I don't want to take that chance. Okay, here we go. Can 
Can't get it to follow me out here. Mm, doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure if Lovebug didn't block that, I would have gotten killed. Oh, it seems very defensive of this area. Maybe it's me that's nest here. Yeah, I'm not so sure if this is actually worth it. We'll call that a warning shot. You know, I would think... Okay, there's one. I was going to say, of all the places to not find the round cactus drop... There's just one other campsite. So I'm gonna go back, see if there's a Gyrotodus that spawned. And if not, then I'll just say screw it and collect the last of the cacti. doesn't look like it. So I think I need one, two, three, yeah. So after this, I'll need two more. No, three more. This is good for research points.
Oh. So this is what happens when you don't swap guild cards with anybody. Ah, nope. Ah, damn it. Uh, let's see, what can I get rid of? I don't want to get rid of the max potion because those are kind of valuable. You know what? The easy rations are expendable. Think, where do the cacti spawn? Wait a minute. This isn't for cacti, this is for something else. There we go. Okay, I think I'm just going to warp back to here. Don't ask me how the wing drake is working in a cave, particularly a narrow, winding one like that. I kind of wish this had the feature from Generations where you could have uh, Transport Palico, who you would give them shit, and then they would just carry it back to uh, your home base and just drop them in your box. I feel like I could really use that in this game. Looks like I got some running to do. Well, I apologize, I was not anticipating this much dicking around. No, I am not going to run out of time on the Bottle Cactus quest.
Now, let's see. Where can I find more cacti? Next to the Rathian. Sure. Do this delicately, carefully. Do not want to agitate the Rathian any further. What is the Rathian doing? No, really, what is it doing? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Quest complete indeed. Fucking hell. I mean, I love the game, but holy shit. Sweet, more items. Jeez, I wasted a lot of time on that shit. Yeah, that looted bounty not gonna happen. That one's simple enough. Simple enough. Sure. Wait. I didn't check. Were there any deliveries I could do? Ah, damn, I need more Vespoids. On the plus side, a lot of research getting done. Oh, I should check to see if I can put another thing in for farming. That doesn't seem like it. Though I do have way more items than I did before. In terms of variety. I should probably check to make sure if I can upgrade my armor yet or not. Hmm. 
Looks like I just need a certain kind of ore to upgrade that. Still need your Rotodus parts by that. Maybe I have an investigation. Should have checked that while I was down here. Well, what do you know? Very first quest. to that for now. Oh, that's an interesting quest. Leave that one in the queue. I don't have one for Puke, so we'll hold on to that. Seems to be the only one that's just Jirotota, so I'll keep that one. That one has a money boost. I want to hold on to that. That also has a money boost. All right. So, I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing that uh, Jirotodus investigation. That way I'll at least guarantee that it shows up. Now, I'm going strictly defense on this. Oh, Polisher, that's a good one. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I still only have one spider web, so... Not going to make a pitfall trap. <laughs> I 
Hoping I can get this one done quickly. And also having it, hoping it just happens to drop exactly what I need. So I don't know if I was seeing things, but on the map it looked like there was an exclamation point. Certainly a Jirotodus around. And apparently a Baroth and a Kuluyaku. Okay, why did it turn me around like that? Usually don't get that on the first go through, but I guess I was a little lucky this time. Hey, material. Ah, a little too close. This tail does not want to break. Oh. 
Oh shit. I thought I was just down to yellow. Apparently not. Running fast enough. Oh, God, I couldn't see. The flash bomb affected me as much as it did him. Oh, pff, fucking delay on it. There we go. That's more like it. Shit, all three monsters are here at once. Don't look weak enough to capture yet. I broke a thing. Nice. Might as well sneak in some research points before I make the final catch. I'd rather not investigate mud this fresh. All right, I'm gonna have to set this up on dry land and then lure it in.
I would laugh if hitting the flashlight cage while it's a uh, prank bomb like that woke it up. And <laughs> it just broke out of the trap, and the mission had to start again. And by like, I mean hate. Ooh, that's... Not the best position to end a quest in. Aqua sack. Yes, I got Thunderbug Cage. That is going to be very useful. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, basically Thunderbug Cage are they're traps. They're shock traps. Which your uh, Palico can set up. The number of rewards alone it makes that really tempting. Now, I can't remember what else it said I had to do. Okay, not ecological research. Just check in and make sure the farm is still going well. I call it farm, even though that's not what it is, just because that's what it has been in most other Monster Hunter games. Still has one more round, so I'm going to let that go. do I need? Mystery skin. Oh, wait a minute, that's not moss wine, is it? I don't think so, because I'm pretty sure I have moss wine. I'm going to double check. Well, swine hide right there. So it's not that. But being one of the flying guys, the wing drakes. Mm, I'm gonna give that a resounding maybe. Hmm. 
Maybe I won't get to Anjanath tonight. I mean, I could still try it, but I would not be comfortable at all with it. You know what? I'm thinking I'll give this a shot. Because I've hunted these all individually. Now let's see if we can do it at the same time. I think the game was foreshadowing I would do this earlier when all three of those monsters wound up in the same area. I was hoping I could get one of those bonuses. Whatever. Well, shit. Guess I'm not capturing most of these. Three monsters, one hunter, one palico, one destiny. Now the question is, which do I go after first? And the answer is, whichever one I see first. a little aid while we're here. Looks like I'm going after the Kuyaku first. As well grab some of these since I'm running pretty low on uh, what are they called? Trank bombs.
This thing is just getting destroyed. So in other words, it's like fighting Kuluyaku. Just running in out of nowhere to fucking headbutt the Kuluyaku. <laughs> oh, but I don't want to capture that. Wait, hold on, I lost track of what was happening. Did I kill it, or did Baroth kill it? Don't stand next to me! Lovebug, pretend you're the police and don't stand so, don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. Never have too many. Even when you do have too many, that just means you can sell them for when you need the really expensive shit later on.
You know what? While I'm here, I'm going to get one of these guys. Son of a bitch. Times like this, I wonder if I should have just gone with a gunner character. Or a bow. I say gunner because I'm slightly more inclined to that. It gets in a turf war and Jirototus kills it. Okay, looks like Jirototus isn't here. I was gonna say I'd have to get on Jirototus's case for kill stealing. So I'll try to get the tail while I can. Bear off you're a bull in a china shop. Oh, son of a bitch! Your timing is terrible. Okay, now Jirototus is in the shock trap. Can we get a turf war? They're not even turf warring, they're just taking turns, taking shots at each other. Oh shit, that, that Jirototus got airborne. There goes your tail. Ah, oh, shit, I can't see where it went.
Wait, wait. There it is. Don't know where you're running to, Baroth. You're going nowhere. saying thank you, Jiratotus. Come on, get over here. That was risky, but I was willing to try it. Not quite. Oh, Jesus, love bug.
Oh well, more traps for later. Okay, what time is it? Uh, don't know if I'll have time for much of anything else after this. Unfortunately. I feel like I didn't accomplish much today. Three of those were new records? Can't say I was expecting that for them. Or maybe they're just barely new records. Now the farm should be updated, or at least, yeah, that cycle should be complete. So now I can cultivate something else. It looks like I don't have the capabilities to cultivate certain things yet, so... What do I need to prioritize? I'll do a couple rounds of sleep herbs. After all that, let's see if I can forge anything worth a damn. chest. Kested on armor. I should probably replace that when I can. Put that as base 12. Uh, barrel has base 14, but it sucks against fire.
Like, none of these are particularly great against fire. But Kesteron is, so maybe I'll actually hold on to those. Maybe I'll just have to upgrade what I have now and then go after it. Ten point upgrade, pretty good. Defense can never be too high for an enemy like Anjanath. here. Oh, wait. This is a quest. I just so happened to... I think I needed Gajo Wesker? No, wait, that was for armor forging. Oh, pff, again? Okay, are you done? Good. You know what? I could do that herbivore in the waste quest really quick. So I'll do that and then we'll call it. Sure. <sighs> Meanwhile, on my other character, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm just kind of fighting whatever to get my hunter rank up. Two tempered basil you sucked. I mean I think that goes without saying, but still. Evening, chaps. Surely you don't mind. Oh.
Ah, shit. Fine, everybody dies. You fuck with my mission, I fuck with you. I wonder if I, th if I had a ghillie mantle and I threw it on, would I be able to just walk past everything? God, hurry up. Phew. That's one. Everybody dies. You son of a bitch! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but sure. Technically, it doesn't hurt to have levels in uh, tracking, but still. <coughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is not going according to plan. <sighs> Alright, well, that's done.
you think maybe I should have an entire stream? I just looked out there and saw that. Which is just nothing but fishing. Monster Hunter. Parentheses, big monster fights. In parentheses, Kieran, Rathalos. And then it's just me fishing the entire time. I'm gonna sell that steel egg. It's never too early to be paranoid about running out of money in Monster Hunter. So that is going to do it for this stream. Just gonna save as soon as I load back in. But next time, I'm definitely going after Anjanath. There's no getting around it now. Pretty much got to do it. Whether or not I get that sword upgrade. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next week for this character.